Good morning everybody, so I'm going to be starting off the vlog today. Today is the 11th of August and I am flying out with my sister. Me, my sister and Gran are flying off to Turkey to go see Elite again. Your girl's going back to get her Tilly's done. Hey, yeah. We are heading off to the airport now. My brother's picking us up and we've got a four hour flight, so let's go. This is the room guys, this is where me, Grant and my sister will be sharing and then this is the bathroom. Oh my god, it's lit, it's lit. We have a sauna. There's a sauna Oh here. my day, oh. are you serious? <laughs> the living room we have here, we got a buffet. Good morning from the villa today. So it is surgery day today and I am feeling so nervous but so excited at the same time. I don't know if Grant has shown you the living room yet but it probably looks a bit different during the daytime. It's actually really, really big, really spacious. Got a kitchen right there, open plan eating dining room. At the moment it is 6.30. Our car is just coming to pick us up right now. Hopefully my sister's going to go first. She's having a second round of BBL and then I'm getting my boobs done and then liposuction into my hip and then I was also doing some research yesterday and my sister has actually had buckle fat removal when she went to Malaysia and I was actually planning to go to Malaysia to get it done but then I was like oh maybe I can ask the surgeon if he does that procedure here I think he does I think I saw someone on Instagram had that procedure before but I was doing research last night and it was a really easy procedure you can do it while you're awake even and it's just like a half an hour treatment where they just take out a little bit of your fat pad just to make your face a bit skinnier so it'll basically look like this just like my cheek sucked in a bit. So I was watching loads of YouTube videos yesterday until like two in the morning and loads of doctor reviews and stuff. They were saying that if you like the way your cheeks look, if you suck it in a little bit, that's exactly what the results will be. So it's just a little incision inside your mouth and then they just take out a little bit of fat just to give you a bit more of that chiseled look. If you guys don't know, I said it before in my video, one of the things that I'm really insecure about is this. When I smile, I get this little fat bit here and I feel like that will be resolved by buckle fat removal. So I'll keep you guys updated. Let's go to the hospital, it's about 60 minutes away. Okay, so I just finished my consultation with Dr. Ali and I just wanna show you guys the markings quickly. It's all here and then I've got markings all over, even on my face, cause I'm getting buckle fat removal and all that good stuff. So it's time to take off the makeup now. Get ready for the surgery. I'm so excited, guys. I actually feel even more excited than last time. Last time I was probably a bit more nervous, but this time, because I kind of know what it's kind of going to be like. Actually, I've never done my boobs before, so I have no idea. But it's so weird seeing like all these markings on my chest and my back. And he's going to try to do my arms. Should be under for around three to four hours, he said. He's also going to do Vasa, so it makes it a bit more like stronger and tighter. And then any fat that he takes that he's going to put onto my hip. He's also going to do love such underneath my thigh so he's gonna try to you know scoop that all out to give me a nice perky bum because i can't get a bbl all right guys please excuse my no makeup face i had a nap and then i woke up ready for my sister to come back but she's not in the recovery room yet she's just coming out of surgery now and i just had my consultation with dr t so i'm actually having two different surgeons today because dr t is um, a new member of elite and he specializes in boobs he he actually lectures in a university and he does a lot of breast reconstruction for people that has had cancer and he focuses on breasts whereas Dr. Ali he does more like BBLs and liposuction and stuff like that. I always say the more doctors the merrier because everyone I feel like has a specialist thing you know they always have the thing that they're really good at. I do have to tell you though if you are the second person to have surgery in the day your ass is gonna be hungry because I'm so thirsty right now but I cannot eat obviously because I'm going under anesthesia and you can't eat or drink anything my sister's just come out of surgery oh she's oh shaking so this is what it's like when you first come out of surgery it's so 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 cold because oh the anesthesia room has to be really cold so there's no bacteria so my sister is in there recovering and i'm waiting to be wheeled in but i just want to show you guys this faha that i got for my last surgery when i had my massages from my old colombian masseuse she was like you need to get this far it's the best one that they do in colombia so we actually ordered this from ebay I'll see if I can leave the link down below, but this is super, super 
snatching if that's even a word i love the fact that it also has boobs as well you guys see here it has like a built-in bra put in it's also really good for like if you have a lot of fat here that you like putting out it just keeps everything nice and compressed and you mainly want to drain out a lot of the fluid as much as possible when you guys have your surgery at least they do give you two fahas i think already but this one is like the ultimate faha i spent like a hundred pounds on this so just waiting to be wheeled in now Oh my god! It's I got to break back. Look at Gary now, put it back down, quick. Look, this is what he does to me before I go to surgery. It gives me anxiety. Are you flat yet? I'm flat now. Bye guys. Next time you see me, I have full voluptuous breasts and big fat hips and nice skinny face. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Alright. Take care. Love you guys. Love you. Bye, Bye. Bro, Give me a like for this video if you like it so far. <laughs> Okay, just update. Dr. Ali, we're just in the other room to speak to her on Tweez coming in like 10 minutes. She had her boobs done. She got three, three, five cc in each boob. Yep, that's boobs. And basically she had two and a half liters of lipo and 300 cc inside the hips. So you'll see it in a bit. Catch it in a bit. She's finally here. You okay? How are you feeling? So cold. I miss you so much. I miss you too, babe. Hello, vlog. It's so cold, guys. How are you feeling? They are reunited. I miss you already. I miss you guys so much. It's so cold. Oh, bless me. She's quivering. Hands are cold. How much did she do? So I have moved around two and a half liters of fat. Yes. Yeah. A good amount for someone not to be since the second round. It was harder to move fat. You got skin tightening on front. Okay. And etching for the sides. Yay! And I have removed all the fat from the uh, lower back and the waist and upper back. And you had 300 cc transfer to each side, the hips. Yeah. But yeah. it's very firm. That's why you feel pain more oh. on the sides. The breasts. <laughs> They look very good. Yeah. They look just the way you have wanted. Yeah. Okay. They look round, natural, mm -hmm. and a nice cleavage here. Yeah. Okay. You have 335. Okay. A bit um, larger than we expected. Okay. Okay. It was the best that looks good on you. We have tried 300, but 335 uh, was the best one that looks good on you. Oh, did and you do it in my arms? Sure. <laughs> you had light on the arms and armpits okay. and the upper back. I have used all the tape scars. Okay. And after the surgery, we have injected some steroids on the each as well as the incision on the breast. Stop keloid. Okay? okay? Do I have to be careful because of my bubble fat? No, 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 you can do whatever you want. It's just a very tiny incision okay. and there is a stitch, so there is no way, okay? So it's like 9 p.m. now. The BBL hurts more than last time. Because it's the second time around, he has to do it more aggressive. The bottom of my bum, because he's done liposuction there, feels really achy on my legs. But I did have a little glimpse at my boobs and the cleavage looks good. It's very high at the moment. I'm like, I hope it drops down, but I think I watched loads of videos and everyone said it was really high at first. I have to like take short little breaths because I'm a bit out of breath, but this time is definitely more painful than the last time. My sister is walking around, yes. skipping around. And I'm also gently twerking. <laughs> I know how she's doing now. I definitely feel like in more pain this time. i got a bubble in my lip. Who is it? Is it because there's a tube? I think I was chopping on it or something. <laughs> she was hungry in her sleep, guys. So, how was the night? Um, it wasn't too bad. I think my belly hurts more than my boobs. Because you had skin tightening oh. and the layers are exhibited. Like, That's why. Like the morning Yeah, yeah. Morning yeah. yeah. it feels like really stretched. My boobs are not too painful, only if I lift my arms. And it's quite hard to get in and out of bed. Yeah. Okay, guys, so it is day two post surgery. As you guys can see, my face is hella swollen. I look like a square box right about now. My chest is actually slowly feeling worse. Like when I come out of surgery yesterday, it wasn't that bad. But today, I have to take really short breaths when I talk. I'm really, really happy with the cleavage. It's still a bit high at the moment, but we just saw Dr. Ali. He said it's gonna slowly drop. We haven't got a full length mirror here, so we'll try that tiptoe to see inside the mirror. But, oh my God, yes, I can use this as a viewfinder. This is, 
my body day two post surgery he done liposuction on my waist and vasolipo which tightens the skin and he only just put it on my hips so i can still sit down but my tits are hella big it's because i got a big bandage underneath this is what it looks like oh this is very nice i'll show you from the side Oh, I really like it guys, it looks so good. Okay guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you my implants. He actually gave me the box and he also gave me this card. He said I need to keep this card forever and don't lose it because this is what's going to tell the next surgeon when I need to get it replaced like maybe in 10 or 15 years. My implants I actually don't have to replace. This has lifetime warranty on it. So I actually got 335 grams on each boob i actually only wanted 300 but he said that 335 looked better when i had my surgery so he went with that one so a bit bigger i also went for a round implant that is the gummy texture and i also had a moderate plus profile hello marshmallow man i have a face looks like a marshmallow and my hands guys my hands are so painful i just had to sign a document and I couldn't even hold the pen properly. So the reason why my hands are so swollen is because of my chest is bandaged so tight. So obviously that's all connected to my arms. So now they're really puffy. So he said I have to exercise it like this. Pretend I'm squeezing some boobs. She's lying. Her hands are naturally like that. Hey! Look how chubby my face is. I feel like my cheeks are so fat. And my lip as well. Like a big bubble here. We have Hoong here laying on a front like this. This is how they transport you. <laughs> and then we have Twee here. Oh my god, it's painful. Lit sitting up like this. My ears blocked. I feel really out of breath. Like every time I talk, I have to like take a deep breath in because I feel so short out of breath. And my armpits really hurt as well. Like I can't use it to get out of bed or anything. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm really swollen today. So it's probably the most amount of pain I've felt in ages. The last time I had baby, I wasn't even that bad, but today I feel so tender. So if you guys see my back, all of this is fluid. Like the food is all like podgy and there's no curve in my back whatsoever because it's all full of fluid. And all here feels so weird, feels so tight. Yo, it's day three. We've got Grumps here. She had a bad night. She's right in now. super pain at the moment. Look at my face, seriously, look at my fucking face. Everything's swollen, my lips are swollen, my tits are swollen, my cheeks are swollen, my toes are swollen, my hands are swollen, everything's swollen. But I just done a shit, which is victory for me. And I'm just waiting to have my shower now. But it's so annoying because I can't get my bandages wet, so I can only shower from waist down. I feel so out of breath, I feel so dizzy, lightheaded. Every single complaint you can think of is what I feel right now. So it is day four today of my post surgeries. So today I feel a bit better. I am slowly, you know, getting up by myself, going wee by myself. I've been having the shits, guys. Like for the first few days, I was so constipated. And the last two days, I've been shitting, shitting, shitting. There's so much gas in my belly and I was so bloated. <laughs> TMI, I know, but you know, <laughs> gotta let you know the tea. But after, I have released the bowels. I feel so much better. Today I actually had a shower. My sister helped me wash my hair. So I could only shower from the waist down because I can't get my bandages wet from my boobies. This is what the current situation is like at the moment. I'm all bandaged up. My boobs, you guys can still see, is quite high at the moment. I do have to say my left arm is healing a bit better than my right arm. Like this arm on my right, when I hold up the vlog, it's a bit painful like a bit achy so yeah i'm trying to like work this muscle out i feel like this one's a bit tighter but obviously both boobs are not going to heal at the same exact time so today we are actually going to see dr ali and dr t to have a checkup on my boob this is an emergency i tried to get myself off the bed it's so hard to pull yourself up after your breast procedure because i'm so out of breath as well and if i laugh it's so painful but i literally can't <laughs> it's so painful. I try to lift myself up, but I can't. So I need help. Can you help me? Not, not help me. No! No! Oh, no! He <laughs> actually left. Oh, guys, I just feel so shitty. I feel so helpless. 
It's one of the most frustrating things because I like to get things done like immediately as well and like it's the most frustrating thing the other day. It was so bad. I was like in the middle and I was so thirsty and I was sleeping. So I got myself like a, a carton of juice just to put the freaking straw inside of you know, the, the whole bit of the juice carton. It took me 10 minutes because I was so weak I couldn't push through the little foil bit. It was like one of those moments I just wanted to sit there and cry. I just felt so helpless and I was going to give up. And then last minute I was like, let me just soldier through the pen. I went, yeah. And it finally went through and that was the best juice I've drank since being here. This is how I get out of bed. So Grant has to put his hands. I'll oh, be careful though, be careful. Oh. 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 Wait. Stop being drunk. No, it's... So painful, you don't understand. Even as soon as I get up, it's like immediate pressure sitting up. Oh my god, even holding the camera, my hand is like freaking cramping up. So time to get up and go see the doctor. So we just made it to the hospital and I look like a train wreck. Everyone's looking crazy, but here's my doctor actually. Hello. This is Dr. T right here. So this is the man who done my boobies and then Dr. Ali done like the lower part. So I'm gonna have my consultation now and see if everything looks okay. I hope to take my bandages off. It looks great. Yeah. yeah oh my, yeah, it doesn't fun. look big. No, it looks good in proportion you your body. This is very important. It's a very natural. When do you think it was that thing soft? Probably in about two months, okay. the swelling will be gone and it will be very soft. And then would it, would it slowly drop so it's not as high? Yeah, as now it looks a bit high. Yeah. Also it's because of the swelling. But so how do you feel about it then? Oh my god, it's so weird. See, I've got a major underboob, which is great. I've never had that before. Um, at the top here it's still swollen. But I actually really like it. I'm glad I went bigger. We are going to check out the other villas. These guys... There's nothing much to update with you guys. These guys just been sleeping yeah, it's day and so five, on. Guys. Yeah. So it's day five. But we want to uh, show you guys around the villa, show you the luxury. Do you want to finish life. this? Do you want to finish this off? I but anyway, yeah, time. we're gonna go switch up and have a look at our villas. So this is a little path we cross here. And then there's a whole big crib back here. Start the episode of Welcome to My Cribs. Okay, guys. So welcome to my second crib. So we are here at the Elite Aftercare Villa. We have some dogs here. And we found dogs. These two just fight each other all day long. Oh, you're here. We were looking for you. Hello. you got beautiful eyes. Oh, you are beautiful. I'm always scared of big dogs. We found the indoor pool. Oh, they got a bar and everything. No, I got wallet and stuff. I found the treasure chest at the end of the rainbow. Okay, not what I expected. Oh, look, a sauna. Another sauna in here. Got a bit of this, you know. Yeah, this Psst. fun facts right we went to a sauna last time yeah and i was sitting there sweating my yeah. nuts off and then the sweet is like oh. it's not even hot yeah you to run through there naked should i run through it yeah run through it i'll vlog you three two one go oh my god he's actually doing it oh my god i can't even follow you i'm too weak to run go go is it wet? Oh my god, it is wet. Yolo, run, do sexy time. Flot your hair. Flot your hair. Slow mo. Oh, it's super dry. I don't get wet even. Oh. Hey, okay, we're going through Narnia. And look, we get meted by these majestic animals. Look how precious she is. She looks so regal. Is that a she or he? I don't it's know. a he. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Oh. And this is their <laughs> cribs here. Can you just imagine this? my shots come on, let's show them i don't need makeup to look good do your pan babe do your pan. oh yeah look at that outfit oh, i raise my arm then the view so it's time for tweet takes the third and final villa i will show you a lot oh my god mind the dog shit look how much acres of land the dogs get to roam hello buddy you Oh, you're wet. What happened to you? Who on? Go in first. I don't want to be shot. So we got buffet again. And oh, they got a PS4, man. And we got a living room. So, anyways, hope you like our episode of Welcome to Our Cribs. This is our room, obviously. Yeah, so we're going back now. Let me show you the essentials. Okay. You need this. I'm not going to hold it too close to my face. But this is what's going to save you. 
All of you guys have surgery, you guys know, us girls, we can't be weenie standing up. So we need to use this and cut. Cut the funny. And this is what it feels like to be boy, guys. So today is day seven post-surgery. So it's been a full week. I have been through so many ups and downs. Honestly, it has been crazy. I feel so much better today that I did put on a bit of makeup today because we have Dr. T coming to the villa and he's gonna do my inspection and take off all these bandages from the lovely comfort of the villa. So it's really nice actually not having to travel to the hospital, which is like 60 minutes away. And especially when you go over speed bumps, it is quite painful. So as you guys can tell, I keep getting shortness of breath whenever I speak for a long period of time. So hopefully that will go away. I keep having to be like, after every single freaking sentence. Before I was actually getting a bit worried because my right arm, especially under my armpit, was so much more achy compared to my left. Like my left, I can literally like kind of reach up and stuff like that. Whereas on my right, it was really hard to even just do this. But even doing this, I can feel like a slight bit of pain. Like just a really slight, but it's getting better and better every day. So it's a good sign, you know, the pain is like easing away. And the first couple of days, it was so hard. I was like, oh my God, I didn't expect it to be this hard. But now on day seven, I'm like, yes, I'm fine now. So I am just literally wearing like pajamas and stuff because I'm washing all of my fahas, which is really nice. They do all your washing here, which is amazing. And they use some amazing laundry detergent it smells so good um i'll just show you what it kind of looks like day seven you guys can see it's quite high still very high actually it looks like i'm wearing like a push-up bra the last couple of days honestly the bandages have been so itchy and last night in particular my left boob was so itchy it literally kept me up until like two in the morning because i kept wanting to scratch it also i have been getting more sensation in my nipples which is a bit tmi but like now when i kind of like brush past them i kind of feel like oh a little bit tingly it's a bit weird it kind of feels numb but then i can feel a little bit of sensation there as well so i remember my friend got her boobs done she lost sensation in one of her nipples so i was like oh. so he just put on this little makeshift bandage thing and then a bit later on tonight i'm gonna have like a little velcro strap that just goes above my my chest just to like push down my boobies so it drops a bit faster i'll show you guys a little sneak peek so this is what my boobies look like he says i'm like a full size c and i'm really happy like, even the cleavage now looks amazing it's not too close together because i didn't want it to look like i have a uni boob and i love like the side profile it's so weird to see that like, i have under boob now it's crazy like i saw the actual scar and it's right where the crease is so you literally cannot see it and he said that he made the incision really really small i think it's like just under four centimeters he said because i told him that i scar quite easily so he really really made some extra effort to do my scarring nice and like neat so really really appreciative of that so tomorrow we're actually going to be flying back to the uk so i'm going to end the vlog here i will do an updated video to let you guys know how i get on maybe in a month's time four weeks after surgery or something like that and i'll let you know all the details how it's healed if it's dropping all those juicy details but every single day i'm getting better and better so if you are currently going through this and you're feeling pain it is so worth it just keep striving through a good tip is don't sit up too high when you're sleeping i literally laid onto two pillows and that was really really nice and it stopped me from getting so much swelling so don't be crazy like me and sit up literally like show it up and sleep because that's so uncomfortable and really really bad for your back actually so that's it for me guys i'm gonna go take off my makeup now and we're literally just here for the next few hours and we're flying out first thing tomorrow morning so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog enjoyed this little journey along with me if you guys haven't yet please make sure you follow me on my other social media platforms it's just x tweely on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook and i'll see you guys in another video bye guys also follow my sister and her video she's also gonna post a bbl my second bbl journey yeah i'll leave that in the link down below bye <laughs>